Hello, welcome to a new video. And in today's video, I'm going to synthesize a new copper compound. The new copper compound I'm going to be synthesizing is uh, the double salt of potassium sulfate and copper sulfate. It is actually a naturally occurring mineral named cyanochloride. Chloride, I think it's pronounced chloride, I don't know. Um, but it's, it's kind of interesting, it's a natural mineral. Uh, it should be a uh, quite a simple synthesis. Just add um, um, a one-to-one -one ratio of potassium sulfate and copper sulfate together. But I didn't have any potassium sulfate, so I just made it myself by adding potassium hydroxide to a solution of ammonium sulfate and then boiling off uh, the ammonia to obtain a solution of potassium sulfate. So yeah, I'm just making a short little video about it, uh, synthesis. To entertain myself and you guys of course um, so yeah enjoy this little video Oh yeah, ammonia. This small. Okay, so the pH tested. Um, slightly acidic, which is weird. Probably just bad pH paper. Um, but anyway, it, it probably just means it's neutral. Um, because it can be acidic. That will be weird. So that means uh, I got my uh, stock geometry right. Uh, which, you know, is good. It's, almost done so. okay so now for the fun part i uh, should have a um, suspension it is but um, should have potassium um, sulfate in here and copper sulfate in here uh, in the right ratios this so just one mole of that one mole of that only it's not one mole but in the that ratio um and yeah just fuck them together and it will form uh, a double salt uh, upon heating I believe uh, at least that's the case with the uh, ammonium double salt I made so yeah um, I should do that with my gloved hand and just add it there wash it with some distilled water Wash the sides because it got all angry and sprayed potassium sulfate everywhere. And now stir it while heating and it should form my little compound. Now that everything has dissolved, you can see it's only slightly cloudy, but, but that's just for my um, slightly impure uh, copper sulfate. I don't know why it always it's, a little, it's always a little bit cloudy. Maybe some carbonate or something. Anyway, um, there is no hydroxide or oxide precipitate from excess um, potassium hydroxide uh, or ammonia, um, ammonium hydroxide. So that's a good sign. So it should all go smoothly from here. Okay, so something odd decided to happen. A weird, very insoluble precipitate uh, decided to crash out of the solution with a like weird green color, almost copper carbonate like. Very odd because it just, look, look at the color. They're like brownish. Never seen that color from copper before. Just gonna focus. Focus. Look at that weird color. So I don't know if that it, if that's my product. I don't think so. I don't think that's the right color. So I really don't know what that could be. Except my product, but it doesn't look like my product. 
So I'm just gonna filter it and see if I can get um, just the blue crystals I expected and not this weird other stuff. Look at that odd color. It must be my product, right? Maybe it's just because it's such the. Uh, so, Jesus. Maybe it's just because it's so finely divided, it has a weird color. I think I'm fucking up. Okay. So here's the solution. Um, a day later, after letting it slowly cool, and there is crystals in there. And they are kind of shaped like copper sulfate, but definitely have a weird different quality to them they have that weird um, cross shapes in them that your normal salt does when it, when it crystallizes it which is uh, cool and interesting also it grows extremely fast because um, this morning there was only just the middle piece was there and now a few hours like two three hours later there's all these other little crystals growing so that's kind of cool it grows extremely fast I still don't know what the um, uh, weird precipitate was but it may be my product because I but I tested its solubility in water and it seemed almost insoluble so I was like eh it's probably carbonate or something um, but it was actually soluble in this solution, which is very weird. Um, I, I really don't know what it is, but yeah, I think I succeeded in creating the substance anyway, so that's uh, pretty cool. Look at those beautiful structures, a synthesized naturally occurring mineral. Ain't that cool? I'll make some cool pictures of it.